Welcome to The Beast Inside. This is a horror game made by Polish developer Illusion Ray Studio. The key for this was given to me by a viewer. I'll avoid mentioning their name for the sake of privacy, but thank you very much for the key. Unlike most games, I know basically nothing about it other than what I just said. Uh, I literally don't even know the plot. Normally I start up the game for a couple minutes to check settings, but this time I haven't even done that. I figured it'll be fun. Or maybe a disaster. Uh, yeah, let's get going. New game. Three difficulty settings. Adventure, Standard, and Beast. Let's just go with Standard. Balanced level of puzzles and action elements. I don't know if I can change that after the fact. I wish games would say that, whether you can change the difficulty during play or not. Where? Where am I? Why? God. Why? Adam! Adam! Why are you stalking us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting our family? No! Adam! Oh, no. No, what have you done to Adam? Oh, God. War calls for casualties. No, there is no war. We're just a, we're just a regular family. You hear me? We just wanted to live our life. And you've ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you've killed them. Stay away! Don't! They already know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. Hush. No! What are you doing? What are you doing? I am setting the front. The sweep of the past. President Carter had commented on the Russian threat that we could... Wow. The further we go, the more doubts I have. It will be challenging, true. But it was you who kept saying you'd like to get away from the city. Feel the call of the wild. For the weekend, honey. Not for the rest of our lives. <laughs> who says it's for the rest of our lives? Really, Emma? We don't know the day or the hour. Oh, very funny. Like we don't hear enough about nuclear threats in the media. That's what I'm talking about. If I don't break the code, this country would be like a basket full of nuclear mushrooms. Adam, stop it. But then again, maybe this shack will fall down on us before Brezhnev's boys launch their first missiles. It's no shack. It's a present from your parents and you should appreciate it. Take a look! Oh, it looks even better than the photos. Well, our stuff made it here before us. And those lazy movers didn't even bother waiting for us. That's okay. We can bring it all in ourselves. Yeah, meaning I toil away while you give orders from the shower. Three hour drive and we're finally here. The place seems peaceful and quiet. Maybe it'll help me to focus on those damn telegrams to decipher. Honey, don't just stand there. Those boxes won't carry themselves in. Update. The place seems peaceful and quiet until Emma showed up. This game has a level of Americanness that I wasn't expecting from a Polish game. So, so far, it seems like this is set, I think, around. The height of the Cold War? I'm terrible at history, but I think it's late 70s, early 80s, around like the time of President Jimmy Carter. Also the name The Beast Inside and what we saw at the very beginning, where we or someone uh, murdered that person. I get the feeling that there is kind of literally a beast inside or will be a beast inside of us. 
It's going to be a two character sort of thing. I don't know if it's possession, perhaps. It sounded like they were speaking with a different voice than our normal voice. And they said something about setting the front line of the war. The Cold War? I don't know. Let's see where this goes. This is really pretty. Look at how muddy the car is. And how muddy the area is. Splish, splish. Uh, Emma wanted me to take the boxes inside. I know, but I don't want to. I just want to run back the way we came. <laughs> it's really pretty. Shall I leave Emma and run away in the woods? Nah, don't think so. I need to go back. Okay. Oh, look at those mountains. It'd be amazing to live in a place like this. Also, a suitably remote place for horror things to happen. And we're before the days of common cell phones. So it might have been the days of cell phones existing. They might have existed, but maybe they weren't common and they were those huge bulky things. Gosh, this game looks good. It's like walking trails all over the property. No point going there. Can I read the labels? Can I zoom in? Don't think so. At least they haven't told me how to yet. I really am just like, screw the plot, screw what the game wants me to do. I'm going to go stare at fences and nature. And also turn up the gamma. Mm, there, yeah, that's a lot better. that down there? Looks like a really old house, I guess, just abandoned and in disrepair. Can I actually go over there right now? Oh. Uh, Emma will be pissed if I don't bring the boxes in from the porch. Times are hard, <laughs> but not so hard as to jump off the bridge. Okay. Okay, let's go get the boxes. Fine. Oh, it looks like this place is under construction. It's like a fixer-upper. Walls need to be painted. Where are the boxes? Oh, I need a key. Hold on, do I have like an inventory? Well, look at the tape recorder. Can rotate it around. Oh, I love highly detailed objects that I can move around and read the labels of. Yes. Unfortunately, I can't zoom in. I can see that it was made in China. I can see the orientation of the two AAA batteries that go inside of it. Nice. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. It has an opening system, kind of like, uh, kind of like Soma and Amnesia: The Dark Descent, where like you click to start to open it to like grab the thing, and then you have to move the mouse to actually like swing it back and forth.
Is there anything in here I need? This is definitely locked. Voice recorder. Press tab to check the voice recorder. Adam uses the voice recorder to record conversations and his thoughts on the current events. Gotta get those boxes inside. Okay, so we don't actually need anything from the car. I'll just leave the doors wide open. Air it out. I should put the box on a table upstairs. Oh, kitchen cutlery. Kitchen cutlery. And then three unlabeled boxes. Bleh. You can see the all the like cracking in the paint. It's so detailed. You can see the texture of the brush strokes in the wood in the paint. Hell yeah. Oh, it stays in whatever orientation you leave it. Uh, upstairs was it? Pull hook for lowering the attic stairs. Oh, I think that's where we're supposed to put it. Sorry, I didn't pay any attention to what anybody was saying. Alright, where's the catch for that thing? Oh, do I equip it just by clicking on it? Is it equipped now? Ah, yes. Oh, that's so cool. You have to take out the ladder and unravel it yourself. Oh, actually, you just click it and then it does it. It just toggles it back and forth if you click it. Still really cool. And what's in the newspapers? Trash kills... Trash kills something? Opening doors. Hold left mouse button and pull push with the mouse to open doors, drawers, and containers. Oh my god, I can open all the drawers in this goddamn household. I'm going to have so much fun in here. I love this. I was not expecting this level of interactivity. I think Emma's in here. Do I hear a hairdryer? Oh, they're brushing their teeth. How long was the journey in the car? Wasn't it just like three hours? Oh my god. Does this break? Damn, sturdy bottle. Uh, looks like you can hold down left mouse button to throw it further. <laughs> can I gently put it down or is throw my only... I think throw is my only action that I can do with it. Once you pick it up, you gotta throw it. Oh yeah, I got it in the bowl. Let's air this place out. Oh my god, there's so much here. Stare at everything. Brim, dirt, some. something that's not English. Interesting texture to the book. Whoops. Crush proof box. Filter cigarettes. Oh, you bet your ass I'm gonna pick up everything. I remember I checked everything in the apartment at the very beginning of Soma. It was so much fun. A butter knife? What's that doing in here? Man, 
Man, this looks really old. A neutral organic non-astringent solution of iron and magnesium peptonate? With something extract. Hydrochloric acid. Ooh. <laughs> Got anything hidden down here? Nah. Ooh. That's... a bit strange. Sad angel. This one looks unhappy. Don't worry, little buddy. You've got wings, so you can always fly away to a nicer place. Unlike me. I think this place is pretty nice. Why would you want to fly away from it right now? smashed. Invoice. I paid those bastards in advance, so of course they didn't even bother to take those boxes to the attic. Can't trust anyone these days. Simon and Sons, your best next move. Moving service. Moving date. 22nd of August? Night. What the hell is this writing? the hell is that date? 19... That looks like an A. Oh, we can... Z to read. We can convert this into plain text? Yes. 1979. That's a 7? That's a 9? It looks sort of like a terrible 3. 22nd of August, 1979. Adam Stevenson is the name. Picked up from Massachusetts. Delivered to... Ah, New Hampshire. Yeah, that's not one I commonly see. General overview of work, transportation of 8 to 10 boxes, around 33 pounds each, plus furniture, plus some equipment, home improvement, renovation, 170 miles in one way. So that's going to show up in notes now? Yeah. Man, look at how detailed that bottle is. Look at how detailed the reflections in it are. Oh, yes. Can you move that thing up? I can't read the label. I gotta read all these brands. I love game brands that they make up. Brand new Rosy Reds detergent. Alright, next. Damn, this thing's dirty. Refresh. All purpose. 33% more. Bleach. A Compton and Crumpler product. Crumpler. That's a good name. Compton and Crumpler. This one's nasty too. Zinger. I might be boring everybody watching this to death, but I love this. I absolutely love this sort of stuff. Well, that's just another. Rosy Reds. Another one? Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. That That is the same one, sort of. But the cap is a different color. Look. Yellow cap. Red cap. Oh, it has no cap. I see. Mystery solved. I think these are just more zingers. Oh, can I? I can 
can't even interact with the light switches. Except they don't seem to work. We have to have power here. I heard the hair dryer going. Do they have bulbs? Yeah. Beautiful. Now that's a chunker. Or really old medicine. Ooh. Oh, that's really pretty. I wish I could put it down without literally throwing it. Ugh. At least nothing seems to break so far. Do these break? No. Okay, I think stuff in general might just be unbreakable. Walking through here, we're all just gonna trip. Everything's open, there's just there's just ceramic and books and all sorts of stuff just strewn around. Is this thing shiny? Is that like a quest objective marker kind of thing? Like hint hint? Or is that a weird sun phenomena? Look at how detailed this freaking pot is. Beautiful. Compton. Spray paint, obviously. Yellow, I think. Interior, exterior. Property damage. I think the text on the back of the can, if you look really, really closely, is Lorem Ipsum. The, like, default... Uh, Latin text thing. Crumpler? Crumpler stout. Hell yeah. Brewed and... Brewed and stewed in New York City. Twin Parks Brewing. And Zinger. So, honey, um, I put away the boxes, but I also took out everything in the house. Batteries. Oh, what's the brand? <laughs> Zuppacell? Zuppacell? Okay, hold on. If I can't do anything with this table, then why does it look like this? Why does it look like a collectible item? <laughs> Doggy! 1920. Wow. You can pick up individual shoes. Look at how detailed these are. I'm pretty sure for this game they used photogrammetry, like scanning actual real world objects to get their models and textures. I'm pretty sure that's the most likely way you'd get a look like this.
Yeah, air it out. Let the monsters in. Let the let the beast inside. That was a good one. It's not a nightmare, even if it looks like one. Thinking Woman's Guide to Pregnancy, Amanda Kruger. Bestseller of 1978, 500,000 copies sold. The American Bible of Pregnancy, loved by future mothers and fathers alike. I should read this too so that I can be understanding of Emma and her quirks. Our character sounds like a very straight dude, straight dude, if you know what I mean. I want to break this thing and find the goodies within. Just like the evil within, too. Damn, look at that. That is so cool. Let's get this in the light. Thank God I can work remotely now, so I don't have to set my alarm for 6 a.m. Ah, oh, that lamp's not plugged in. Hold on, what is this? It's a real thing. It's not like an official note. There's actually writing on that. Dang it! <laughs> Ah, uh, how do I? Mm, forget it. Um, is there a light switch around here? Not that it would work. Okay. Candles. Letter from Mom. Mom spent her childhood here, but she never talked about it much. I'm glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle down. Can't imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. Adam, our dearest son. This house belonged to our family for many decades. Some even called it the Stevenson's Refuge. But when me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa's just going to sell it, as he said he would. Well, he didn't. Surprisingly, he left it for us in his will. And now you and your lovely wife will live here, raise your kids, and simply enjoy life far away from the turmoil of our dangerous time. I can't even imagine a better place to settle down. Take good care of Emma. I'll visit you sometime next month if my aching hip allows that. Mom. P.S. Dad thinks he should be the one to come up with a name for your son or daughter. I have no idea why he's insisting on that. Maybe he's just getting old and tries to leave some kind of legacy. Anyway, act surprised when he mentions it to you. Jesus. Oh, is that an iron? I mean, it's iron shaped. I'm pretty pretty sure that's the uh, old style of old style of iron where you have to like heat it up on a fire or something, and then just use the residual heat held in it. And it certainly holds a lot of residual heat because, as you can tell, that is a solid, solid thing. Hmm. 1280. Probably a password. Probably not.
sure it's a beautiful place. Well, if that's the whole house that I can access, then what did I miss? Whoa! I just went for a little ride there. Oh. I sense the potential for Half-Life 2-esque... Um... Whoa, yeah. Half-Life 2-esque exploits that I've seen speedrunners use. Where you, like, lift up an object while you're kind of on it? Anyway, this isn't a speedrun. <laughs> I'm not trying to find exploits. Oh, I don't actually have to go into the attic right now. I think this is shining because this is where I need to put the boxes. The box is where it should be. Ah. Uh -huh. On the paint walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. Okay, now we need into the attic. Are I supposed to put all the boxes there, though? That was just one out of, like, five. What about the rest? No? Just the one. Okay. I helped, honey. Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. Okay, well now this is gonna be kidding me. Fuck. Mom, the baby hears everything, even in the womb. So we will make a great agent, just like Dad. Honey, I can't get in the goddamn attic without a key. Check the dining room. It should be in a drawer. As if there. I can't find it in the dining room. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I didn't get it from the trunk. Ah, <sighs> typical. <laughs> Women. Am I right, bros? High five. Right. Ah. Ah. Oh, that's a cool looking key. Why are these boxes so dirty? Nasty. Horror game. Addicts are always cursed, aren't they? Find the paint. Damn it. Hmm, what's <laughs> that? Butterfingers. A loose plank. Someone's hidden something under the floor. I need to pry it up. Maybe I can find a crowbar somewhere. Oh, it's a smashed can. I was trying to figure out what it was. It's very pretty. Looks all, like, coppery inside. mostly drinks or medicine something California what is this is it wine English bottled beers this is a beer in this sort of a container 
Never seen anything like that. Dancing couple figurine. Rotate to find a hidden message. Oh. Well, thank you for telling me that there's a hidden message. Wait, where? I'd expect it to be on the bottom, but it's not. I don't understand. I'm gonna toss that down there so I can examine it later. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry. An angel. Wait, this one also says rotate to find hidden message. An angel looks like he's sleeping, but he might as well be dead. Poor guy. Life has been rough on him. How long has he laid here? Probably for like a century. Do they all say rotate to find a hidden message? I won't get even, far without a crowbar. Even when they don't have a message? Get that ass out of my face. But I can't crouch. I can't fit through the windows. So is there a crowbar up here? Oh, there's a little ladder here. We can go up even further. I see. Uh... Can I not see what's in there? I don't know if there's anything else. I can't fit up there. Yeah, I love that it's not just a cutscene. You have to actually pry it. What could it be? A treasure? Hope it's not Great Grandpa's porn mags. That looks like a puzzle. Cipher on parchment. Rotate objects to find hidden messages. Find the eye symbol to reveal the message. Cipher on parchment. An excerpt from Julius Caesar's Commentaries on the Gallic War. I remember this from my Latin classes. Some letters look different than others. Oh, well, that's easy to solve. Just take the big letters. Those are the ones you need. Oh. <laughs> I'd have to be a goddamn code breaker to... Wait, isn't that what I do for a living? Oh, right. That explains why we'd be so good at this. J equals C. Julius Caesar's initials. But why did someone write that they were equal? So how many big letters are there? One, two, three, four, five. And there's looks like five things I can enter the here. Cipher to open the box. Man, this looks so good. When the examination mode is on, you can perform additional interactions with certain objects. Oh, this is so cool. I can actually, like, grab it and just spin it. I love this level of interactivity. Um, 
Ah, okay. I think I noticed all this already. So, yeah, this is a cipher thing. I don't know what it's properly called. I guess a decoding device. Um... Uh, was it J equals... Um, this device on. will help me decode the letters in the text. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta get, gotta get back to the note. Uh, J equals C, so that's telling me how to set the decoder to the proper... I don't know, password? J equals C. So... Uh... There's C. There's J? Yeah, I can only move the outside one, yeah. J equals C, but it could, doesn't matter which way I put it, whether it's like J, C, or like C, J, like this. This feels more likely to me because it's more up here in a reasonable position rather than down here, like sideways. We look at the notes if and... J equals C, then based on the letter, the first character in the cipher should be... Okay, M-H-P-A-O. Got that written down. So now if we go to the disk, so the first one is M, so that's this. So M translates into F, and then H. H translates into A. Next one is P. P translates into I. Next one is A. A translates into T. And then O. O translates into H. So that spells... that spells faith. Faith. That's got to be the password. Oops. Hard to hit it right. Heck yeah. That is such a cool looking key. Nicholas's key. An antique key, but what could you unlock with it? A so detailed look at it. I love old keys. They just... They're so cool. Alright, what is this cursed book Necronomicon? Nicholas. It is September 27th, in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening, almost night. Chapter 2, September 27th, in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening, almost night. Never before have I kept a diary. But they say that it... Why does I keep changing, like, fonts? Chill. But they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. It is September 27th, in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening. Almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought, makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination oh this I'm is home cool. again after 10 years absence i'm relieved to find the house unscathed that's good it's the only roof i have over my head for now i should light some candles and take a look around no trace of my father did i honestly think he would welcome me at the door he vanished a decade ago without so much as leaving a letter. The house feels strange, even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears creeping out of the darkness whose source I cannot define. But memories will come back. That's what they told me. Maybe then I will realize what happened to my father and what happened to me. Press X to line a match. Oh, I love that. Diary. Tap to read the diary. Nicholas writes down his thoughts as well as all important information. Oh, it's going to burn my fingers. Oh, no. 
Ouch. <laughs> that looked like it would really hurt. God damn, this house is creepy now. Jesus Christ, this place is so cursed. Pull push the mouse to move heavy objects. Alright, let's examine this room first. Fuck, I hate this. Oh, it's got everything. It's even got the clock sound ticking away in the background. Why is that so menacing? I don't know, but it is. It's the thing that was upstairs. Father would sometimes leave it in front of the bedroom door. That meant he didn't want to be disturbed. must have upset my father because one day he tossed the figurine at me and hit me in the head. I can see it suffered more damage than I did, though. It's dark in here. I'll light the candles. What was that? Kerosene. Use it to refill the lamp. What lamp? Photo at the mine. My father and his partner a few days after opening their pyrite mine. Jacob Hyde and George Whitehead, April 4th, 1940. Ah, this is the lantern. Old lamp. My grandfather used one of these when he worked in a mine. Back then, these were a rarity. They said it was foolproof, not only when going underground. Now it's rusting away, but it's still working and might come in handy. F to light a kerosene lamp. Okay, but we have limited fuel, of course. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Love the way... Oh, control to raise the lamp or a match. That's so cool! You can move it around, make it go higher if you want to change where it's kind of shining a bit. I love the shadows and the light moving all around as you move, that's so cool! contract. My father bought this land for practically nothing. His friend, Judge Norton, signed the contract and the deal was made. That's how they did it back then. 
Land Preemption Contract, Certificate Number 12, Land Offices of Plainfield, New Hampshire, May 4th, 1939. It is hereby certified that the pursuant of the pres uh, that the pursuant of the provisions of the Act of Congress approved January 13th, 1938, entitled an Act to Secure Land Preemption to Actual Settlers on the Public Domain. Jacob Hyde made payment in full $400 for 320 acres at $1.25 per acre. <laughs> Now, therefore, be it known that on presentation of this certificate to the Commissioner of the General Land Office, that said Jacob Hyde should be entitled to a patent for the track of the land above described. John Norton. Register. That is so obscenely cheap. $400. For all the land. 320 acres. Look, acres are a weird-ass measurement, and I'm not sure exactly how big one equals in a sensible measurement, but it's pretty big. 320 acres is huge. Oh, okay. So I looked it up. An acre is a unit of area equal to 1 640th of a square mile. I'm sure everybody knows and loves miles, right? It's about the size of an American football field. <laughs> uh, 320 acres is about 1.3 square kilometers. Oh, this is the box? My father's... My father's stinking artifact. <laughs> I tried to smoke at once. Unfortunately, my father found out and made me smoke a cigar. If I wanted to act like an adult, I vomited all night and never touched that pipe again. Ew. Still don't know why my father started to collect them. Do I have to use the kerosene to refill it? Ah, yeah. Okay, so we actually have a lot of kerosene then. me and my father in front of his inn. I was seven at the time. He reproached me for making faces and not standing straight, although he was the one who couldn't stand still, as you can tell. He gave me a good thrashing then, even though I didn't deserve it. Damn wind, 
I, I thought the window was bolted shut. <laughs> you doing here? This is private property. Who the devil is he? Check the area around the house. <laughs> That's not going to stay closed. Did he go? Hey! You still here? I'd better take a look. He pointed at the shed. Maybe I can find something in there. Wait, I thought they pointed this way. Is that... I think that is the shed over there. I'm wondering what this building is, though. anything that we need to pay attention to. Why am I doing this? There's nothing connected to this. is coming from the inside but the door's locked maybe i can find something to cut through the chain That's our father, isn't it? Let's just close this behind me. What the hell is this? Um, I feel like there's too little there to be the full body. A newspaper clipping. crime has shocked a peaceful local community. The deputy sheriff called to the called to the inn confirmed the man's death. John Norden has been considered missing the last few weeks. The assailant was exceptionally brutal. The victim's throat was slashed and many other cuts and burns all over his body suggest prolonged torture. A gruesome murder? Here? John Norton. Sounds familiar. Is some kind of clue for me? I should look into it. That's one response. The other is to grab a weapon and like run. I don't feel like looking for that vagabond in the dead of 
night. I'd better go home. yourself in? Hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you. <laughs> if I tell anyone about this, I'll end up in an asylum. That surprised me. father never could express emotions, but when he felt unhappy, he used to clutch this little angel in his hand. that painting you can see it's like kind of gyrating like it's alive a little bit this stuff out of the way and open this door. I can't get past this damn thing. Uh oh. I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> ah. Okay, cursed ladder. Don't walk on it. Let's cut the chain. Sure. We'll see if this is a good idea. Yes, we will.
My father, my father's inn's first advertisement. He said to me, we did it, boy. Hillside Inn is now open. 40 comfortable rooms, cozy refuge in the mountain village, great tasty food near the famous Caroline Pyrite Mountain, or mine rather. Feel free to visit. Fuck. Those rats. I just realized you don't... You don't actually need to have a match lit to light a candle. It does take one match per each one that you light, though. But, I mean, I have a lot. Oh, I can crouch. I was trying to use control. Right, that just lifts the lantern. Is there anything in our diary that's not like... Is it just a summary of what we already know, or is it new stuff? House isn't that safe either. Manuscript in here, too. He was so close I could almost touch him, and then he disappeared. He didn't hide, just vanished. If that's true, then I saw a ghost. What if it's my imagination? That would mean I went crazy. I don't like either option. Who was he? What does he want? And why is this happening? Just when I started to recover after spending a decade in that terrible place. Yeah, not really. It's mostly just a summary. But there's some new stuff, like spending over a decade in that terrible place, wherever that was. That's new. Move this. There's a door behind this thing. Can't seem to grab it though. Maybe there's another way in. Find the side entrance. Ah, now we can grab it. <laughs> no. Bear of shears with rusty blades. Despite the passage of time, they can come in handy. Damn it, I can't open it. Maybe there's something in my briefcase that would help get it open. Get out of the basement. You have to get in there. Whatever happened. I hope it's not my father's blood. No oh, fucking Am I? Delusional? Jump scares don't usually get me. That one got me. What the hell is that? Looks like... Roots? I need to get rid of them before I leave the basement. Oh, I 
guess that's it for the shears. He's upstairs. What does he want from me? My suitcases were right here. They're not there anymore. through my briefcase mysterious key I have no idea why why I took it to to the place where I spent the last decade I can't even remember which lock it fits Chapter 3. My parents' old house, where Emma and I decided to move, hides more secrets than I could imagine. Under one of the floorboards in the attic, I discovered a hidden journal from one Nicholas Hyde. Reading it absolutely froze my blood. I don't know if the chilling passage described real-life events, or if they're just mad ravings made up by this Nicholas person. Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Strange. I was in the attic and... I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, but I want to talk a little bit about the game first. Um, so far... Almost everything is really, really, really working for me. Given that I knew basically nothing about this game going in, I'm super surprised. Because usually when you don't know something going into a game, it's probably going to turn out to be kind of mediocre. Because most games are. But in a lot of ways, this game is really damn good and it's super working for me. And horror often doesn't work for me. But this is. It looks freaking gorgeous. And it's incredibly creepy. And I adore how interactive the environment is and objects are. Things you can read and flip around and examine. It's so cool. So far, the only stuff that I don't like about it is... Uh, I don't like how it seems to be going down the typical horror avenue of... Of exploiting mental illness for the sake of horror. Like that character in the diary, they spent a decade in that place. I'm pretty sure that place is like a mental asylum or something like that. Yeah, seems to stigmatize mental illness, which a lot of horror does, unfortunately. Also, sometimes, just occasionally, a couple times, the writing is really silly. Like, given everything we saw in that goddamn basement, we start to come out of it, and then vines, like black, putrid, demon vines, suddenly appear in front of the basement door, stopping us from getting out. And for some reason, our character seems very casual about it. They're like, oh, man, I better take care of these vines before I leave the basement. Like... Damn, this ivy's really crept around the house in the time that I've been gone. Really gotta cut the lawn. Dang. Like, what? But yeah, for the most part, I'm really liking it. So I hope you've been enjoying it too, and I'll be back soon.